right, friends, today we are going to read about a little girl who loved math. She loved math so much that she helped to make history. Let's start to read and learn more about this important black history maker. So this story is called Counting on Catherine. And here's Catherine right here. And this is a long story, so I am going to read some of it today and then we'll finish the rest on tomorrow. Catherine loved to count. She counted the steps to the road, the steps to the church, the number of dishes and spoons she washed in the bright white sink. The only thing she didn't count were the stars in the sky. Only a fool, she thought, would try that. Even so, the stars sparked her imagination. What was out there? Catherine yearned to know as much as she could about numbers, about the universe, about everything. Catherine's boundless curiosity turned her into a star student. She was so bright, she skipped three whole grades. She contemplated right past her brother. He wasn't too happy about that. By the time she turned 10, Catherine was ready for high school. But back then, America was legally separated by race. Her town's high school didn't admit black students of any age. Catherine's burned with fury. She wanted more than anything to keep learning. There was still so much to know. Count on me, Catherine's father told her. By working day and night, he earned enough money to move the family to a town with a black high school. Catherine loved high school. She was good at every subject, but math was still her favorite. She dreamed of becoming a research mathematician, making discoveries about the number patterns that, that are the foundation of our universe. In those days, though, there were no jobs as research mathematicians for women. Professions most available to them were teaching and nursing. So Catherine became an elementary school teacher. She liked her job and she loved her students. But she never stopped dreaming about exploring numbers. Here's Catherine teaching. Is Catherine working on her work? <clears throat> In the 1950s, the U.S. government's National Advisory Committee on Aeronautics hired thousands of, thousands of new employees. It even started hiring black women as mathematicians. Catherine heard about the mathematician jobs. Her heart raced with excitement. Perhaps her dreams could come true after all. But when she applied for one of the positions, she was told that they were already filled. Catherine had to wait a whole year until new spots opened up. Her patience paid off. She got the job. Okay, friends, we are going to stop right here for today. This is a long story, so we're going to read the rest tomorrow, like I said in the beginning. But I wonder how Catherine will use her math skills to help a rocket ship go to space. So we will learn more about it tomorrow. See you then.